So in last video, we discussed about what is superconductivity, what is the transition temperature or critical temperature and Messner effect and as you know that the phenomena of abrupt disappearance of electrical resistance at very low temperature which imparts high electrical conductivity to conductor or any material and making it superconductor it is called as superconductivity now what is transition temperature the meaning of transition temperature is the temperature at which material or conductor undergoes an electrical conductivity transition it is called superconducting transition temperature below this critical temperature or transition temperature material shows zero resistance or it carries electric current forever and hence the transition temperature or critical temperature it is the maximum temperature at which superconductor exhibits superconductivity so this part already we discuss Messner effect means ejection of flux lines by a particular material under the influence of magnetic field it is called as Messner effect now next point is different types of superconducting materials the important properties and applications of superconductors lead to the preparation of various types of superconducting materials like conventional superconductors fullerenes and alkali metal fullerides high temperature superconductors organic superconductors etc in this video we are going to discuss three important types of superconductors that is conventional superconductor fullerenes and alkali metal fullerides and high temperature superconductors now first of all conventional superconductors and these conventional super superconductors have a transition temperature of 9.4 to 23.3 Kelvin now what are the conventional superconductors the superconductors which require intense cooling by using liquid helium they are called conventional superconductors and superconductivity occurs in a large number of elements and their compounds this type of superconductivity occurs in large number of elements and their compounds among various elements niobium displayed highest critical temperature approximately equal to 9.4 Kelvin and therefore in making conventional superconductors there is a use of niobium and niobium and its alloys these are used as a conventional superconductors the preparation of conventional superconductor is very difficult because there is a need to use the liquid helium for cooling purpose and the conventional superconductors have poor mechanical properties this is one of the limitation of the conventional superconductor what are the examples niobium tin alloy nb3sn it has a transition temperature of 18.3 actually greater the transition temperature the easier will be the handling that particular superconducting material so attempt attempts have been made to increase the transition temperature if transition temperature is too low then it is very difficult to maintain that transition temperature and use such a superconductor at that lowest temperature and therefore research is going on to increase the transition temperature of superconducting material by having different composition so here these, uh, there are some niobium 
alloys which are the conventional superconductors and niobium tin has 18.3 transition temperature niobium germanium transition temperature is 23.3 niobium aluminium its transition temperature is 17.5 and niobium nitride transition temperature is 16 so this is about conventional superconductors now next important type that is fullerenes and alkali metal fullerides now here you know fullerene it is a fused ring aromatic system and in one fullerene molecule it is also called as buckyball in one fullerene molecule there are 26 membered rings and 12 5 membered rings each carbon is sp2 hybridized and in the year 1991 it is observed that this fullerene also sh shows superconducting properties and this was the remarkable discovery in the research area of superconductors so in the 1991 the fullerene uh, was reported as a one of the superconductor not only fullerene but also the compounds of fullerene are also showing superconducting properties actually as i said each carbon of fullerene undergoes sp2 hybridized and here important thing is uh, number of compounds of fullerene that is called as fullerides these compounds are reported and these compounds shows remarkable property of superconductivity now why or how these compounds are prepared actually c60 molecule of fullerene has a face centered cubic structure with lattice constants equal to 14.2 angstrom since the radius of molecule is 3.54 angstrom this leaves large vacancies which are actually enough to accommodate the dopant metal ion which are having small radii and because of this several alkali metals are doped into the fullerene especially uh, potassium lithium rubidium these metals are alkali metals are doped and doping of potassium gave the maximum conductivity okay so this is about how discovery in the fullerene and the fullerides help to uh, get or to tune the superconducting properties in the new materials so here the compounds of fullerene shows properties of superconductors at certain higher temperature this is the structure of fullerene c16 fullerene and there is a space or vacancy which is large enough to accommodate the alkali metal ions these are the some known fullerides alkali metal fullerides shows the superconducting properties for example k3 c60 that is potassium doped fullerene and its transition temperature is 18 kelvin rubidium rb3 c60 that is rubidium doped fullerene it has a transition temperature 30 kelvin rubidium titanium full doped fullerene it has a transition temperature of 45 kelvin so these compounds have superconducting properties so this is about the fullerenes and alkali metal fullerides 
so here you keep in mind fullerene itself is a superconducting material and when it is doped with alkali metal its superconducting property increases and third type is high temperature superconductors superconductors whose critical temperature is above 77 kelvin these are called as high temperature superconductors and the superconductors whose critical temperature is below 77 kelvin they are called as low temperature superconductors and these are some high temperature superconductors for example yttrium barium copper oxide it has a critical temperature of 90 kelvin titanium barium calcium copper oxide these are the mixed metal oxides it has a transition temperature of 122 kelvin then boron lead antimony strontium copper oxide mixed metal oxide it has a transition temperature of 164 164 kelvin so in this way actually uh, this should be it is boron 1 to 7 means the number of boron atoms changes or ranges from 1 to 1 to 7 okay it's like that so these are the some high temperature superconductors and at the end what are the applications of superconductors superconductors have several applications among various applications we are highlighting here few niobium tin niobium germanium alloys are used to make the wires of powerful electromagnets and these electromagnets have used in making linear accelerators atom smashers new in nuclear magnetic resonance machine which is used to take the nmr spectra of compounds this is one of the important machine nmr machine and in nmr machine there is use of superconductor so superconductors are used in superconducting quantum interference devices that is sqid it is used in ultra low noise amplifiers also superconductors plays important role in making nuclear uh, or in nuclear fusion research to make magnetic bottles for plasma so material of this magnetic bottle it is a semiconducting material uh, sorry superconducting material and this magnetic bottles these are used in nuclear fusion research then superconductors plays important role in the power transmission which is or when power transmission is there using superconductor then it is very efficient and economical so superconductors plays important role in power transmission and which is efficient and highly economical superconductors nowadays especially in japan they, these are used to make phototype trains which floats on magnetic field this is totally new concept and ex on experiment basis it is tried in japan so phototype type trains which floats on magnetic field and in these trains there is use of superconducting materials so these are the some highlighting applications of superconductors and here we completed the superconductivity